Hello there. This is an astrological forecast for Gemini for October of 2011. This also applies if you have a Gemini ascendant. So my Geminis, this month there's going to be a focus on learning, on your creativity, on your work and on your friendships and relationships. Let's start out with Mars. Mars is in your third house, which is a great place for Geminis to have it because it's all about mental energy. It's a good time for negotiating, good time for doing anything involving a contract, maybe getting into um, a new business or a lease or buying something. Uh, very good for a marketing, for networking, for social networking. Wonderful time for a social connection for reaching out to people in your community, for learning. Great time for studying, for learning, for really um, acting and also you'll find that your mind is fast. There's a quickness with, with Mars in that house, you'll find that you're going to be able to learn things at extra speed, um, which already you're pretty fast anyway, Geminis, but this Mars in the third is going to give it a bit of a turbo charge. So make the most of that this month. It's going to be very valuable to you. Um, we've got a lot going on in this fifth house. Now, Mercury is in the fifth house for some of this month. And Mercury can be a little bit um, naughty. Now, in many different ways, but particularly about playing pranks and having jokes. So for those of you that are into that, this is the time to play jokes, play a prank on somebody, tease somebody big time. I can see all this happening this month, Geminis. As well, it's a good time to do anything with children, play games, get into games, whether they're sports or board games or whatever it is, or games on computers. This is going to be the month to enjoy it and maybe make money from it. Maybe create it into a business. Maybe you can write games. Maybe you can um, actually write the software for them. Maybe you can make them up. Maybe you can win games and make money that way. But it's about uh, being very creative financially this month in one way or another um, because the aspects are favourable. With Venus there, you might want a very little flutter. And I say very little because we do have Saturn on the overlay. But Venus there, nonetheless, between the 1st and the 8th of the month does give you a little bit of an edge on something that's just fun where you could win a little something. So don't go over the top with it, I must say. Um, then after the second half of the month onwards, we've, we've got a lot of planets in your sixth house. Oh, and I forgot to say, if you're wanting a romance and you're looking for romance and you're looking for marriage, this could well be the month for you with the Saturn Venus connection in that fifth house. Now onto the sixth house for the latter part of the month. Um, a lot of energy going into your work at this time, shining a light on the work area. Also some good fortune in the work, particularly with um, Mercury and Venus in that house. Venus, I think you're going to get some encouragement in the workplace, somebody liking you or you liking somebody else, um, possibly meeting somebody that could become a relationship. An extra bonus in work, finding an extra way of making a little bit of money as well in the work area. Also a very good month for volunteering, for serving, for helping out in the community in one way or another. Um, it's also a very good time for mental energy. Your mental energies this month really are highly aspected. And if you're studying or you're learning, you need to communicate, you want to get a message out, you want to market or sell or negotiate, Gemini's this is your month. Really take advantage of it. Health-wise, um, we've got an interesting aspect towards the end of the month. We've got the Sun opposite Jupiter, six twelfth houses. So uh, be careful you're not overindulging, especially in sweet things, because that's a possibility with the Jupiter opposition. But nonetheless, there should be some something nice happening for you in the workplace. Some good things happening work-wise. We've got Pluto square to Jupiter in the last week of the month from your 8th to your 12th houses. And this also, for those of you that are in this position, it could mean a big inheritance. It could mean some wealth coming to you. On the other hand, it could mean you going more deeply into spiritual things in your life and wanting to understand why you're here, what you're doing, and get to the deeper meanings of your mind and how it works and your subconscious. It could play out in many different ways, 
but those are a couple of options. So there you have it, Geminis. Make the most of all this mental energy this month. Be creative. Don't play too many pranks. Be careful now. You might offend somebody or upset somebody, but also you could be having a really good laugh and a good joke around, and you are the joker. So I wish you a great month, and I thank you very much for listening. Bye for now.